Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for giving me time with the 2022 Tacoma Limited. Let's talk about pricing here for the Limited. Starting price is at $39,455, including destination. This one's tickets for $43,802. If you're in the market for a Toyota, you can come check out South Day Toyota and Axel Wolford. He will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about the front styling of the Tacoma. As you guys can see here, my model is painted in this army green. It looks really good with the chrome and aluminum finish here. As you guys can see here, also, my model doesn't have those cheap looking uh, halogen projector headlights. Toyota does give you full LEDs if you guys go for a top trim. That's also the sequential turn signal, just like on the new Tundra. That's also an LED daytime running light. And looking down here, there is LED fault lights here at the lower part of the fascia. I do like the grill here. It does have this nice aluminum and chrome finish. There's the Toyota emblem, which houses the driver's assistance. And there is a front facing camera at the lower part of the grill. I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about the Tacoma. This is updated for 2022 or ever so slightly updated. There should be a new version of the Tacoma coming out in the next year or so. But looking at the side proportions here, this has a 127.4 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 212.3. So it's right on par with every other mid-sized truck in the segment. Looking at these tires and wheels here, I do like the rim design here on the Limited. It looks really good. These are a 265, 60 Michelin tire. They're wrapped in this 18 inch rim design. Like I mentioned, really nice rim design, especially with this army green exterior color. And my model also has these running boards here so you can get into this truck. There's the Tacoma name, which is spelled out. There is this chrome mirror cap here with this LED sight marker. And unfortunately, Toyota does not offer a panoramic sunroof. If you guys want a panoramic sunroof, you have to look at the bigger vehicle, which is the uh, Tundra. There's the limited badge here at the rear of the doors. This is a double cap, so it does have the four full-size doors with the five-foot bed. You can get a six-foot bed if you guys would like. Looking at these taillights here, it does have an incandescent design, which is an incandescent brake light, turn signal and reverse light. There's the seven and four pin connector here. Also with LED lights for the tag, there's real parking sensors. There's a V6 badge. There's a total name here on the actual handle with the Tacoma stamp on the actual uh, tailgate here. And the spare tire lives underneath the vehicle also with the uh, tow hitch receiver here. Toyota says this can tow a maximum of 6,700 pounds. Open up the tailgate back here is a damp opening tailgate with this composite material. There's some storage here also with a outlet there. And this does have a payload of around 1300 pounds. There's some tie, hook, tie down hooks back here also with some uh, tracks here so you guys can put a tonal cover and whatnot. And, and as you guys can see also, I do have the rear window open. Unfortunately, it does not go down like the new Tundra. But overall, let's hop into the interior of the Tacoma. Sitting inside the interior of the Tacoma Limited, as you guys can see here, my model does have this black interior. It does look really good with the army green exterior. We reach over here to shut the door of the Tacoma. To start up the vehicle, of course, foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. Once you do that, you guys can hear that 3.5 liter V6 will come to life. Looking at the door panel materials here, they're gonna be a nice soft touch material. There's this chrome accented door handle. There's your lock control, mirror controls here. It is auto up, auto down only for the driver and passenger, not for the rear windows. This area is gonna be nice and padded to rest your elbows on, especially on a long road trip. Cup holder and additional space is gonna be down here. This also has the JBL sound system, which sounds pretty good. There's your, the traction control. You press this button right here and the camera pops up. So that's a really nice uh, feature here. There's a, a lamp for the cargo. There's also an, auto, an automatic high beam switch. Also, a, there's a 120 volt uh, button right here. This is a manual tilt, tilt and telescoping. It doesn't really come out too much, but it does have a decent amount of range. There's the headlight and turn signal stock there. The wind wiper stock is right there. There's the Toyota emblem here on the airbag cover. This is an old steering wheel design. It's not the new steering wheel design that you get on the new Tundra. This, air, this area is gonna be really nice. It's perforated leather. The materials on the dash are gonna be hard touch plastic. There's an area that you're really not going to touch. Looking here at the display, it does have this small helper screen here. I think it's about three and a half inches. You can customize it by using this area here on the steering wheel controls. It does show your adaptive cruise control, messages. This does have four collision warning lane keeping assist. You can customize this to your liking. Over here is going to be the four collision warning lane keeping assist button. This is old Toyota uh, cruise control stock here the option to answer and hang up the phone. There's voice controls, your volume controls are here. Looking at this infotainment system, there's shortcut buttons on the side. This also has four air vents, as you guys, see, as you guys can see on the dash. The materials here really quickly are gonna be a nice soft touch materials with the nice uh, stitching here. There's three level heated seats, but looking at the infotainment system here, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's very responsive, as you guys can see, going into the Toyota head unit here is the 
older Toyota head unit, of course, as you guys know, the Tundra has a new, um, a new system that Toyota uh, Media uh, came up with, which is a really nice display, but it doesn't have a home screen, as you guys can see, just like this. But like I mentioned, shortcut buttons on the side. There's a volume and tune knob, hazard button. Does also have dual climate control. Down here's gonna be for the blind spot monitoring, the ECT power, also parking sensors. You can also open up that rear glass via this control uh, down here. As you can see, it's power operated. If you go for a base model, I think we'll have to open it manually. There's a USB. Also, my model does come equipped with a wireless phone charger. My iPhone 13 Pro Max does fit. It was connected to the wire. Unfortunately, Toyota does not offer wireless Apple CarPlay. You have to go for the newer products if you want that. There's two cup holders here. Also, two more cup holders here. This is a current key fob. It has the Toyota emblem on the back of the key fob. Putting the vehicle into reverse here. It does have a top-down 360 view, as you guys can hear. Uh, it does have rear parking sensors. And you click this area here. It does show you a wide angle here. Putting the vehicle into drive. Over to the left, there's a sport mode in the transmission. Putting it back into park. Nice leather around the shifter here. This area is going to be nice and padded. It does reveal a decent amount of storage. There's a Type C and Type A port in there. The seats are supportive and comfortable. Um, the previous model of the Tacoma that I reviewed, it felt like I was sitting on the floor instead of sitting in the seat. But for this one, it does feel more comfortable. Looking at the glove compartment, it does offer a large storage in there. And above me, there is the standard size. So unfortunately, there's no, no panoramic sunroof option in this current generation of Tacoma. The lighting is going to be LED. You also get LED in the rear. There is a sunglass holder here. Overall, the interior of the Tacoma does feel long in the tooth, but it does offer some nice materials and some decent tech. But Toyota is coming out with a new Tacoma, I think next year or two years from now, but it's definitely going to have a more nicer upscale interior for sure. Before getting into the back seat of the Tacoma here, let's open up the door and talk about the door panel materials. The materials are going to be a really nice material, just like in the front seats. There is this chrome accent to door handle. The switch gear does feel nice. Looking down here, there's going to be additional cup holder and storage space. This area here is nice and padded. There is these running boards here to get into this truck. Pulling this tab right here, it does reveal some storage behind the back seats. And lifting this up here, there is some underfloor storage so you guys can put your work equipment and whatnot inside here. But getting into the truck, there is no grab handle, so you kind of have to use the door and whatnot to get into this truck. But as you guys can see here, the space is kind of cramped, just like every other truck in this segment. This has around 32.6 inches of legroom. There is one mat pocket for storage, and there is no panoramic sunroof. You guys have to go for the new Tundra if you want that option. The lighting, of course, is going to be up here. I do have the rear window open, so I can stick my hand out and let more light and air into this cabin if I would like, but it does not go down like the new Tundra or like the Tundra in general. There's two cup holders here also with the USB charging port. The floor back here is not flat, but you can fit a middle passenger back here. The seats are supportive and comfortable, so nice texture that Toyota uses here on the actual back seat. There is no armrest that folds down or anything like that. That's why Toyota puts the cup holders in the actual door pocket. But overall, the back seat of the Tacoma feels like every other competitor in the segment. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Tacoma. This uses Toyota's 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. This powertrain makes 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with an ancient six-speed automatic transmission. The other competitors do offer an eight-speed or even more gears compared to this Tacoma here. This also has a payload of 1,300 pounds with a max towing of 6,700 pounds. So it is capable of towing. Fuel economy is right at 19 in the city, 24 on the highway. Unfortunately, there is no hybrid option, but Toyota, like I mentioned, is coming out with a new generation. So they should be more powertrain options compared to the 3.5 liter V6. So starting off in the 2022 Tacoma Limited here, like I showed you guys from the outside, see my model does look really nice with this army green exterior color. I did review a Tacoma probably like a few, a few months back or maybe it's been over a year since I reviewed one and that one was painted in that nice, beautiful voodoo blue. That was the TRD Sport uh, version of the Tacoma. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here. This uses Toyota's 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. This powertrain makes uh, 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with an ancient six-speed auto compared to the other competitors, which uses a which uses an eight-speed auto. Unfortunately, Toyota is behind in gears. Basically, in general, this vehicle is behind when it comes to newer tech and whatnot. But the tech is very decent from what it is. But one thing about the six-speed, it is paired good with this powertrain because before I got to um, the park where I normally film at here. This vehicle does a really good job of downshifting and upshifting 
if it was in the correct gear at the timing when you're trying to accelerate. But I notice sometimes the, the six speed is a little lazy to shift and that's due to because it is lacking gears. Fuel economy is right at 19 in the city, 24 on the highway and 21 combined. So with the six speed auto, it is kind of dinging the fuel economy. Toyota does not offer a hybrid version of the Tacoma. They should be working on one because the new Tundra is fully hybrid. They do have two powertrains, um, the new uh, uh, Tundra. The ride quality here, it rides really good, especially with these 265, 60 Michelin tires. They ride on an 18 inch run design, really good. Uh, uh, street tire here if you guys go for the trd of course you guys you know you're going to have a more an aggressive tire visibility out of this truck is really good good visibility out of the back let's talk about the driver's assistance it does have lane keeping assist for for collision warning emergency braking blind spot monitoring so all the nice features that you guys will want and it's a, in a toyota but it's one of toyota's older driver's assistance features not the newer driver assistance features like in some of the newer product but <laughs> as you guys can see <laughs> That's six speed. It knows what right the gear to be in in certain timing, but it will get up to speed very quickly, even though this vehicle doesn't, even though this vehicle makes pretty decent horsepower. Let's come to a stop here. And this powertrain likes to rev around 6,000 RPM. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good powertrain. Like I mentioned from the inside scene, the tech is pretty decent. It's not class leading, but there, uh, Toyota is working on a new uh, Tacoma, like I mentioned. The steering feeling here is very playful. You can feel what the front tires are doing. Um, visibility, like I mentioned, is great. It does have three low heated seats. You can't get cool seats, I think, at any, at any price point on the Tacoma, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. The seats in here, they're supportive. They're kind of comfortable in a sense. Uh, I did drive this vehicle over uh, 30, 40 minutes. Um, I kind of see myself kind of squirming around in the seats, but this is what the, the seats are not aggressively bolstered. This is not what the seats are for. But I wish Toyota would offer just a little bit more padding in the seats. But this powertrain is bulletproof. Everything about the Tacoma is just great bulletproof. The six speed auto is bulletproof. The powertrain, and like I mentioned, is bulletproof. The performance, it's pretty decent but this vehicle does drive and handle very well even though the stirring is very light and numb but this vehicle is a truck that's gonna last you for 20 plus years if you take care of it and of course you guys know this as a Toyota so it's gonna last for many 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 years like I mentioned so if you guys are looking for a, a reliable and durable truck in the segment the Tacoma does offer bulletproof performance after spending time with the 2022 Tacoma Limited, hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next review.